I'd like to think that the author of this series is having a lot of fun with all these different script fantasies. This dude wrestled a bear in front of the entire class, and then the teacher is so down to fuck, man. I like if you take the show seriously, you might not have a good time. But if you take a step back and just really try to assess what's going on and just laugh at it, it's actually really fun to enjoy. I think there's some shit going on with Luna. Let's see what happens in today's reaction. Teleport. The yeah, teleport is kind of ridiculous. I tried creating magic and just happened to develop teleportation. Probably breaking the laws of this universe. You know, you know what the best magic is? It's not even a teleportation. It's our fence. What is that fence fucking made of? That thing is ridiculous. My name is Luna. I'm here to assassinate you. Dark Guild, I think, is where she's from. Yes, let's go talk in her bath. Come on, one more time. The Headhunter. We're trying to headhunt you, princess. Is that an important nickname? Oh, shit. Knight knew the entire time because he kept barking. Yeah, exactly. The intuition was right on. I thought Knight was jealous that she was taking more attention from Yuya. That's why he was growling. But more importantly, who hired her to do the hit, right? Because we saw like, there was some guy that has some like grudge against her, but we didn't really see anything beyond that. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. You can retire. Join us. No, no, no. You got Yuya. You got Yuya. Maybe. <laughs> and we shared bath multiple times. No. Uh -uh. Yeah, I don't even know how. Well, yeah. Don't forget, we took a lot of baths together. Aww. Look at him trembling his fist. I think she realizes that he's being genuine. No. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't realize. <laughs> you don't realize you're in the presence of the main character. Hmm. No, she's down. I don't know why, but... Oh. That's... I mean, it's kind of crazy to just, like, reach out and just ask her to do that. This is a girl that's just trying to kill you. Yeah. But, like, why is she willing to trust her so easily? Like, this is great. But if you think about it from her, like, perspective, this is dumb as fuck. I'm all for it, though. Yeah, and I just tried to kill you last episode. <laughs> you tried to assassinate me? That's ah, trivial, don't worry about it. Fuck it, whatever. No bath. Now nah, she's gonna be like, Bath? What do you mean, bath? True. You, you didn't do shit for sure. Lexia is very bossy and pushy. I'm not sure if he's dumb, but I love her. Oh, it's a guard. He's pouring guards. Because, <laughs> like, remember, they're like regular people, and then this is like the most dangerous region. <laughs> and they're always in this situation because of the fucking princess. <laughs> what was her letter flip? <laughs> the bath. <laughs> And on beauty, apparently, makes her hands very soft. Let's go. Let's go. How much fan service they're gonna show us this time? Because last episode, or the one with Luna, like, they really hit everything. I, I'm really surprised at the amount of fan service they're not showing. I think I missed something there. What did she ask? Oh, are you, you know, dating or something? Just friends? Hmm. Yep. Fast on that, huh? See, look at this. This is rare. Like, they're really covering everything. Usually, it's just the mist or, like, the hair that covers nipples. And you can see the clear outline of the tits. Usually in other animes. But I expected a show like this 
to go beyond that. But no, it's actually the other way around. It's so conservative. I'm surprised. Look at this. I can't see anything. I wonder if they're doing this. Um, so that if they sell like the, the Blu-ray DVDs, uh, it'll be actually less censored. I, I think that's the idea. It's crazy. I, for the first time, I'm actually upset that they're not giving us the shameless fan service. How though? Like, why would you be in love with him? Let's say you don't know shit about him. He saved you once, and then you're like, marry me. <laughs> sure, do your theory thing. How are these waifus here going to compete with the ones on Earth? Uh, uh, will they ever overlap? Will they ever come to a different world? And this is the part where you should be able to see the butt crack, but... Nothing, man. No way. If you can cook, I'll be very impressed and might... Never mind. Never mind. What are you doing? She's fighting the potato. Gee, this is so dangerous. This is beyond dangerous. Where's the fucking knife? Where did the knife go? <laughs> okay, I thought she might be a little bit useful for cooking. And my respect for her was going to go up, but unfortunately, no. Umai? Oishi. The girls always say oishi. I guess umai is like a more manly way of saying you're delicious. What? What? <laughs> right. They're rivals. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is a... You know what? I, this is such a bold face lie. But okay, you will do it. This is where Lexia steps in and shoves a spoon in her face instead to cancel this out. Lexia, go in there. <laughs> Yuya, me too. Injure yourself right now so that he has to feed you. Who do you guys like better? Lexia or Luna? Mm, I... I kind of like Luna more right now. Because I don't really know Lexia. Design-wise, Lexia is pretty pretty damn good. Right? But I, I don't know. I, I just... I, I don't really have a preference at the moment. The only, oh, wait. The teacher back on Earth. That's my favorite girl on this show. Kaede is pretty good too. Kaori kind of just kind of got pushed to the side. I, I don't really know anymore, man. This is the girl that tried to assassinate her? You're gonna just say that? What a ridiculous thing to say. What an absolute fucking ridiculous... Like, why would you even say that? Oops. <laughs> I mean, this is the proper response. Look, we know Luna is a good girl. I, I think. But like, Lexia's like, Hey, you're trying to kill me. She's my guard now. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. No, that's your guards! Again? Oh, we're really delaying this. I wonder why. Bye bye. I wonder if he really will. Oh? A kiss? A hug. Oh! Stolen! <laughs> Lexia is getting blown the fuck out! A parting kiss. Just a thank you. I'm sure, I'm sure. She's great. Bye-bye. <laughs> Lexia's like, no, I need to go run too. Sneak in a kiss. Another bath? Oh, fancy. Who is this guy? Uh, it's a little red pig here. It's kind of cute. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Maybe Knight's gonna have a friend? Tame it. When do we tame you? Huh? <laughs> Even he's thinking, like, when the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I should just go with it. <laughs> This pig can... Holy ground? Oh, I just got an important support pet. Pretty useful. Hey, where, did, where did you come from? I, I'm, I'm all for it, but it just showed up out of nowhere. Your name will be... 
red. Sunset. Sunrise. Akatsuki. Okay, here. This girl really never shows emotion. He's always just like dead in the face. Ball game. Oh shit. This is gonna be so good. <laughs> you just gonna pop the fuck off. Everybody's gonna be witnessing it. And the teacher's gonna beg him to marry her <laughs> again. Goalkeeper? Well, no goal's gonna ever get scorned then. Maybe he can even score as a goalkeeper. I don't know. He'll throw it or like kick it from like the goal to goal. That'd be pretty insane. Remember last time there was a bit of soccer? Um, the, the, the noble prince like shot it and then it went to the one of the girls and you caught the ball. <laughs> that shit was pretty hype. I think it was Kaede. Is she intentionally holding her tits like that so that you would notice? Yeah, well, <laughs> did you see all the girl there? <laughs> a little jump for me, please. Boing. What? You gotta show the camera up. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> You're doing well. Boing. Boing. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit much. Is this her, I don't know, plan so that other people get distracted and they can get a goal? What the? Yo, Rin has shown up last episode or the episode before and all she does is just grope Kaede. Like, this isn't the first time she's done this. Oh, the noble prince. <laughs> Not you. Uh, okay. Oh, see, deadpan girl. Come on, girl. That's actually a pretty good kick. Of course. He wasn't even moving until the end. He was like, bam. Pretty much. Throw it to the enemy goal. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to score, isn't he? Bro is going to score from his own fucking net. This is dumb as fuck. Everybody is like, oh, my God. That's probably super lethal. If someone got hit by the ball, they'll get injured. Yeah, does that count? I actually don't know in the rules of soccer. Post credit scene. Hmm? Therefore. Oh, it's he. Oh, damn. Oh. Hey! This is Frieza again. She was scouting Yuya after that, that one, one episode. I forget which one it was. Does it matter that Lexi hired the girl that was trying to assassinate her? No. Does it matter that you can throw a goal from the one net to the other? No, because the motherfucker can teleport. There's no point questioning this shit. It's just fun. It's actually super fun. I wonder why they're intentionally stalling to meet the king. There's got to be some reason. They got to also go into who hired the hit to kill Lexia. Because there was a guy with the long hair. We saw for a brief moment. Has some grudge against Lexia. But we don't really know who he is in that one. I'm sure the plot will come around. Also, there was a talking rabbit and the other archer. Yeah, what the fuck is going on with that guy? And then now we have Frieza coming at the end. Remember, she was like a scouting Yuya after that one episode in the mall. Out of everything, it's fucking all over the place. I'm just enjoying it for what it is. But hey, so here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.